Everybody order an ice pack. Oh, she's pretty. Today we're building an ice path contraption. This will be part one, just prototyping the opportunity. Now, this all started when my friend Jeremy messaged me, just wondering if I had any ideas on how we could make an ice path. And I thought to myself, you know what? I've got a lot of pressure washing equipment. I love to experiment. Let's do it. Let's try something. Now, immediately, I did have a problem. My smaller hot pressure washer was running a little smoky, so I had to do a bit of maintenance before I could do anything else. So to clean the machine, what I want to do is drop down the burner unit and we're going to clean off the nozzle and the electrodes. I'm going to spray on some product. I'm going to take that nozzle, I'm going to drop it into my ultrasonic cleaner, and then I'm going to reassemble everything and set it back up. There's a built-in screen on this nozzle that really benefits from having the ultrasonic cleaner clean it out. So while that is working away, this is the area that I want to uh, try out this ice path or try making one. So essentially all I'm going to do is run, I have something called a surface head. So it's a big round enclosure with a couple of nozzles on a bar, spins really quickly. I'm just going to run the surface head up and down this section of snow and see basically what happens. It's on a really cold day. So if I miss this area up and down, up and down, it's gonna give me an idea of what might work. While the ultrasonic cleaner is working, I'm gonna grab some corkers. So they're just attachments to my boots. They let me, let me spike so I don't slip on the snow. I'm gonna download the manual for the burner. I'm gonna look at the clearances for the electrodes, grab uh, the tip out, it's done now. So let's get calipers going. Let's uh, grab a file and uh, head back up and reassemble everything. And as I'm reassembling it, I'm gonna file down the electrodes a bit and I'm going to um, check the clearances with that caliper so that, uh, well, adjusting it, just bending it not to break anything, um, basically get this uh, burner unit back closer to what it was originally in hopes that it uh, helps clear up the smoke. Okay, now it's time to test this out. So I'm gonna pull it out of my garage, set up the hose, get the water flowing, making sure nothing freezes. And uh, yeah, we're gonna turn on the machine, turn on the heat, try and get it to work and go from there. Okay, let's see if the heat works. And you'll see very quickly my heat does not want to work. So whatever I touched, um, it ended up being I disconnected a couple uh, connections by accident. Um, but I didn't know at the time, so I just gave up on heat for the day. We're gonna try it without heat, because heat doesn't want to work right now. So we start spraying and I throw on my corkers, and then it's just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then we see uh, how it freezes. I give it a bit of time, I saturate the snow, give it a bit of time, and you'll see it freezes nice and hard. Okay. She's uh, pretty hard. I did have plans to go out and do a second coat, but everything froze. It was a pain in the butt tap froze, my water connection froze actually in the heated garage, my surface head was all frozen, one of my valves, it just, because it's metal, right, as soon as it gets below freezing and the water's in there, it will just start to crystallize right away. So. And this is what I ended up with, just a nice path once that saturated snow froze. Um, it was nice and hard, it was definitely a great first start, so it proved to me that there is potential here. And on the next video is basically I'm going to build the contraption. I take a bunch of pressure washing brooms, attach them together, and uh, try a couple different things to see if I can get a great path.